Morning people, welcome back to another reaction video. This is Peter here from Peter the Famous Gamer and today I reacted to a video called YouTubers who have spent time in jail or prison. This is by Sunny V2. I have the channel linked in the description. This was an amazing video, really well made, really well created. I had a blast reacting to this. It's really well made, so make sure you guys go check it out. I'll have the video linked in the description below. If you guys want to see more reaction videos in the future, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on, and make sure you come along with future journeys because we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Anyway, that's out of the way. Let's get straight to the reaction. These are 10 YouTubers who have spent time behind bars, and we're going to list them from 3 hours in jail to 50 years in prison, beginning with Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon, who got arrested okay. together for the dumbest reason imaginable. Ooh. Back in mid-2018, Sam and Ice had the genius idea of hiding in a purple wooden Fortnite llama on wheels, so they could sneak past security into- They're live streaming to, like, probably thousands of people, I don't think they're realising. VidCon, where they'd stay and film a 24-hour overnight challenge. Everything seemed to be going well in the beginning, mm. as Sam and Ice cruised into the convention yeah, we'll see whilst filming that. and laughing at security through a little peephole. However, the two seemed to forget that they were live streaming to thousands of people, and it would only take one call to VidCon to have their whole plan Ooh, shut down. It's over. This call would happen less than 10 minutes after getting inside, which was followed by security and police walking straight up to them before they'd be arrested. Oh. <laughs> Step out. Yeah. Come on, uh, what is all this? The two were taken back to the police station, banned from VidCon for life, and given a notice to appear in court, which eventually resulted in a further two years probation, $100 in fines, and 80 hours of community service. Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon's arrest was short-sighted and idiotic. However, it still wasn't as stupid as the time Logan Paul was sent to jail oh, for a whole day. okay, let me just say, I've actually seen this bit before because he got arrested in Italy when he took that drone above their Coliseum. I remember seeing that video, it was hilarious after getting arrested in Italy. It happened back in 2017 when Logan was in his obnoxious vlogger phase and prior to the yep. arrest, Logan's group had disrespected Italian norms, gotten kicked out of hotels and had filmed locals without their permission. So by the time the group made it to Italy's famous Colosseum, yeah, they were bound to happened. get into trouble. Logan yeah, they, um, Logan stated that he knew flying drones was illegal and he decided to do it anyway. He flies the drone above the Coliseum, military then has, gets the drone, and then he gets arrested shortly after. Logan began by stating that he knew flying a drone over the Colosseum was illegal. I understand uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that. However, after putting the drone in the air anyway, the military were able to capture it. I found it, ellipsis military has it and logan was arrested shortly thereafter fly of a drone yeah in this uh, area is illegal no bueno we must uh, arrest you for this okay after being released from jail later that afternoon logan was straight back to his idiotic self yo i'm a savage bro read my boy logan ah! you can't stop logan ah! and if any yeah i don't know why he would be doing it like that Things seem proud of what had happened. I went to jail, bro. I went, I've been in jail, bro. While Logan did have to spend a full day behind bars, his punishment wasn't nearly as bad as Sniper Wolves, who after being charged with armed robbery, had to spend multiple nights in jail. I haven't seen this one. It happened back in 2013 before Sniper Wolf became a big YouTuber, and the incident was explained in a video appropriately titled My Jail Story. She explained that while shopping at a department store, she was asked by security to check her bag, yet since Sniper Wolf didn't want this to happen, Happen, she pushed the security guard and ran back to her car. I didn't know what to do. I just ran away and got in my car. Sniper Wolf seemed confident that she didn't actually have anything in her bag. I didn't even steal anything and hmm. they had no... Well, if you're gonna be saying something like that, you just run away before they check your bag. It's pretty obvious that you've stolen something. It wouldn't be a surprise to me if that happened and I saw it in 4K. That would be no surprise. Proof I did. Yet under the assumption that she was running because she'd stolen something, Sniper Wolf was arrested later that day. They took me to the police station jail. They took mug shots and they asked us a ton of questions. She was then charged with armed robbery. I was charged with armed robbery. How? They said it wasn't official charges. They could 
just pretty much charge us whatever they want right now. Before she'd be sent to a larger jail complex, where she remained for three days before being released. I was in jail for almost three days. Yet this wouldn't be the last time that Snipe Wolf ended oh, up behind bars. Because three years time. later, Snipe Wolf would take to Twitter to make a new post reading, oh. so neighbors called the cops because they heard screaming, and I got arrested for disorderly conduct, lol at my mugshot though. This post was followed by a video simply titled Arrested, in which Snipe Wolf explained that she'd been taken to jail for the night after getting into a petty fight with her boyfriend. So of course I was screaming, I was screaming. I got arrested for disorderly conduct. So apparently you're not allowed to scream in your own house. <laughs> and while it definitely feels like Snipe Wolf isn't mm -hmm. telling the full story about both of her jail terms, uh -uh. there's definitely no missing details for what? the next YouTuber who was sentenced to 15 months in prison for playing a prank yeah. on a homeless person. Back in 2000. Playing a prank on a homeless man is actually even more legal than just stealing stuff. That is actually just more savage and more offensive. In 17, a Spanish creator with over a million subscribers called Reset thought it would be a good Reset. idea to take the filling out of an Oreo, replace it with toothpaste, and give it to a homeless person. Despite stating that the toothpaste filled Oreo would help the homeless man clean his teeth, the community began to destroy Reset, creating a 100,000 signature petition to have his channel deleted, which accompanied a 19 million view video by Auron Play titled Reset the Most Stupid on Internet. However, Reset's worst punishment was still yet to come, as after the homeless man's daughter noticed the backlash on the internet, she'd take legal action against the YouTuber and Reset ended up in court. The judge, Rosa Aragones, noted that it was not an isolated event and the social media star had a propensity for cruel behavior and mm. preying on easily or vulnerable victims. She found him guilty of violating the man's moral integrity. Reset was sentenced to 15 months in prison and was ordered to pay 20,000 euros to the homeless man. Reset also received a five-year ban from all social media, wow. with his sentence commencing in June 2019, meaning he'll be able to return to YouTube in June 2024, although certainly with a downtrodden reputation. Beamscore was another million-plus subscriber channel who managed to land themselves in prison, either. although for an even longer time than Reset. The two owners of the family channel, Billy and Eva, were often seen on social media with luxury cars and extravagant homes, yet it turns out that not all of their money had been made through their YouTube channel. Because on the 23rd of February 2020, they'd upload a video titled mm. We Kept This A Secret Long Enough We Were Arrested, in which they'd explained that they had a court date for an unspecified charge. Yes, we were arrested and we have a very important date. We have a sentencing date. That will change our lives forever, for the good or for the bad. A month later, it was revealed that the couple were being accused of identity theft and defrauding the government, having accessed or attempted to access social security accounts belonging to over 1,400 different individuals without the victim's knowledge or authorization. Stealing identities to, you know, to make money. That was my hustle back then. And I knew what I was doing was wrong, but it was just, I needed a way to make money. The couple explained that all of this had happened five years prior to beginning YouTube, although this didn't seem to matter to the judge who sentenced the couple to three years in prison. I got two years and Ivani got one year. I got a year and a day. She has a year and a day. As well as ordered them to pay back the $94,000 that really they had stolen. Thousand. In true family channel fashion, they then used their time in prison as clickbait for content. Yet this behavior wasn't nearly as bad as Russian YouTuber Ruslan Sokolovsky, who was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for playing Pokemon Go in a church. Wow. In early August 2016, Sokolovsky filmed a video of himself catching Pokemon in Yekaterinburg's Church on Blood. The video stirred up a controversy among believers while a criminal case was initiated in accordance with the Russian Criminal Code's articles, citing incitement to hatred and enmity, denigrating human dignity, as well as violating the right to freedom of conscience and religion. The alleged crime, playing Pokemon Go inside an Orthodox church. Sokolovsky shared a YouTube video that showed him playing the smartphone game. His video went viral and prompted a police investigation. Officials said the video was one of many by the young blogger that questioned or criticized the church. In May 2017, a Approximately one year after posting the Pokemon Go video, Rosalind was handed a 3.5 year suspended prison term, and while his 500,000 subscriber YouTube channel is pretty much dead these days, he's still yet to spend any time behind bars. Jens the Beast had a harsher sentence than anyone else on this list so far, although he was actually able to use YouTube to improve his reputation after getting out of prison. Jens the Beast explained that his life began to spiral out of control following the death of his mother at the age of 24. He was sent to prison for the 
first time back in 2009 after getting into an altercation with the nightclub bouncer. Yet after finishing this first prison stint, he was sent back two more times, totaling four years spent behind bars. During his final stint, Jens made the decision to get his life together. The last prison sentence that I got, I used a lot of my time finding myself with cognitive therapy and anger management, stuff like that. So I cleared up my mind, decided that I'm not going back. And after being released from prison, he launched his own coaching program before joining Rich Piana's 5% Nutrition Group. And with the assistance of YouTube and Instagram, Jens was able to turn his life around completely. Less than three years ago, I was released from prison. And now I got two companies going, working with clients all over the world and doing expos and got so many fans and followers. It just, I'm really, really grateful. However, Amazing. while Jens is certainly one of the scariest looking people on the platform, his four years in prison still seems minor when compared to Saucy and Honey, who are facing a seven year sentence for a YouTube prank. This may have been fun for those YouTubers, but tonight they're facing some serious felony charges and up to seven years in jail. In February 2022, the 25,000 subscriber channel posted a video titled 24 hour overnight challenge in Target. We are about to spend the night in Target. Overnight. We're gonna spend overnight in Target. After introducing the video, the two would hide in the store and wait for it to close. They then walk around filming themselves before walking out in the morning, stating that they had been there all night. Please successfully completed our overnight challenge in Target. However, the couple was arrested after the video was watched by police. West Whiteland police saw the video and arrested Johnson LaRose and Charlotte Fisher for criminal trespassing and conspiracy. Criminal trespass was a felony in the third degree. They're not they're not entitled to be there, um, so th which makes it a crime. Not only did the news expose their challenge as fake, using security camera footage which showed them leaving the store at 3 a.m., but after being arrested, the two were charged with criminal trespassing, conspiracy, and are now facing up to seven years in prison. However, seven years is still nothing when compared to Wes Watson, whose 10 years in prison acted as a basis for him to become a multi-multi-millionaire. Now, Wes was already a millionaire prior to entering prison. However, this money had been earned via illegal activity and would therefore also become the reason for his time behind bars. After 10 years in the California prison system, Wes decided that he was ready to get his life together and instead of taking on a normal post-prison job, he instead created a YouTube channel titled GP Penitentiary Life Wes Watson, where he began to tell stories about what prison was really like. His ideal prison-like image helped all of his videos to explode in popularity. So I went on that YouTube channel and it blew up. Every video got millions of views. I got 100,000 subscribers in 28 days. And with his physique- That, that is actually fast. Talking about your life in prison is actually a really quick way to grow your channel that I didn't even know existed. So congrats to Wes Watson. That is really good to turn your life around. Getting a hundred thousand subs in 28 days is insane also being in a very enviable position from his time away, Wes sold fitness programs and coaching via his social media channels. Wes also put out a book and only three years after being released from prison, Wes had once again become a multi-millionaire. That's why I've been able to make myself a millionaire and stay fit this quick. Three years after doing 10 years in prison. Everybody told me, Wes, get a real job. Like, how are you going to support a family online coaching? Ha! Which accompanied a whole new series of videos in which Wes pre is the importance of good habits in the most brutally honest way possible. You will have zero value in your life. Zero worth if you don't put the work in. If you crack that bottle and think it's gonna do it, massive downside. Hey, look at me. I'm having so much fun. We know how you look in the morning throwing up in the toilet, looking at your bank account all. However, while prison led Wes Watson to become a successful motivational speaker, for the final YouTuber on our list, the opposite happened oh. and being a motivational speaker led him into prison. He was a Mexican YouTuber by the name of Jermaine Loera MX and as mentioned previously, he was known for posting motivational and business content to his channel with over 5,000 subscribers. However, instead of engaging in legitimate business practice, Jermaine instead decided to make money by kidnapping someone and holding them for a $100,000 ransom. Two days wow. after doing so, he was caught by police and was sentenced to 50 years in prison where he remains to this day. That is really abrupt way to end this video. But 
that's my reaction to Sunny v 2s video of YouTubers who have spent time in jail or prison. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a comment on the video if you enjoyed it or not. I won't blame you if you didn't. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on, and let's try to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And until next time, see you later, gamers!